All right, this is my next project, is building a, a base for Duplo Lego. Um, the reason I'm doing it instead of buying it is I want it custom size so it fits a tabletop, so it covers the entire tabletop. This was my first attempt, and it was just a little too tight. So I'm going to shrink the diameter of these pegs a little bit by two hundredths and see if that does it. So it almost fits. Not quite but almost we're close so like I said I'll just modify it and go from there and like I said I always say have fun with your CNC and keep experimenting now we'll fade into looking at the CNC cutting the board that I just showed you except this is the new revised version the bottom underneath this board is the one I showed you earlier so I changed it. Again, this is a test board, and what I'm trying to figure out, you saw there I paused it for a second and saw that it fit. Because once it fits, then I can go ahead and cut it, the rest of it rather than waste all the time cutting it. And so it's turned out pretty good, um, as you can see. It does this in two passes. That's a one-eighth bit, but the Legos are so precise, I actually had the mic the bit to find out what the exact size of the bit was and it wasn't 0.125 it was 0.122 so I edited that in the software I'll do another video of this how I designed this in the software but it was not that hard um, once I had a piece to measure and mic and get my measurements from then I designed it the problem with working in wood is that it's not as precise as the plastic is. So this will expand and contract a little bit. So I've cut it. It works good. It fits a little loose, but I'm going to paint it once it's all done. And uh, we'll see how it goes. It'll give our little granddaughter a tabletop to work with her Dupo Legos on. And hopefully she'll have fun with it. But this is all you have to do. Is design it and let the CNC do the work. And then you sand it a little bit as you see, and uh, I'll show you how it fits. Well, I'm sanding it off now. As you can see, I vacuumed it off. I sanded it off, and now let's see if they fit. As you can see, they do fit. All I did is reduce it, the diameter, by 0 0.03. So I reduced it just three hundredths of an inch and then it fits snugly and it works pretty good it's not real tight but uh, if you pick it up and turn it over it does fall off but i don't think that's going to happen who knows anyway have fun with your cnc we'll see if a granddaughter likes it and have a great day and thanks for watching